Food is a social justice issue because unfortunately in this country and around the globe, food has become political. And so it's a matter of haves and have nots. And where food is a fundamental need and a basic human right, it should not be that. And so it's important that we advocate and do the work of activism to make sure that it is not a privilege for a few, but a right for all. Food IQ is a term that I use to highlight the fact that we eat a lot of fringe and franken foods, and real food is something that we need to be educated on. It's part of the work that we do is so much good. It is critically important that we increase our knowledge around what real food is, and that in turn will increase our health and well-being individually, but as a whole in terms of our communities and our country. Growing your own food and interacting with nature um, critically important in what they call food desert communities. I think that the term food desert is an interesting one because a desert essentially is a place where not much can live and there's not a lot of water, a lot of resources at all. Clearly there are millions of people living in food desert communities that are totally disconnected from nature. Our connection to the earth is one that grounds us and so Food deserts, nature deserts are all part and parcel of the work that we do in building community, revitalizing community, and recognizing our common humanity. I think that growing um, organically and without chemicals is really the way our forefathers who began this country started growing food. And I think they were on to something. Um, there's this myth that organics cannot feed the world. I don't believe that at all. I think that when we grow organically and without chemicals, we honor the ecosystem and the wisdom that is inherent in nature, that we see the decimation of our waterways and our soil and the collapse of our honeybees is an indication that chemicals and all of the harm that we've done to the environment is something that should be propelling us forward in the space of organics and growing uh, chemically free. It's critically important to our survival, I believe. I absolutely love this work and I believe that it is a gift to myself, to my community, and to my children and my children's children. Planting and growing things is nothing short of magical, that you can drop a seed into the earth and from that a plant comes and a flower and a fruit that really will sustain our lives, that's nothing short of a miracle.